Hello YouTube, this is Prozel from windowslovers.com uh, One of the first videos I made was about speeding your internet connection. So this video is a follow-up video on the same topic with a few more tips for you to enhance your current internet connection. Uh, first, I want you guys to understand that the internet speed depends on lots of factors and you have to make sure you have everything in the right order to get the most of the bandwidth provided by your internet service provider. So this tutorial will help you enhance your current internet connection which eventually might help you increase your internet speed. So that means that I cannot guarantee that your internet speed will increase. You will make sure um, you are not missing out on the internet speed that you are provided with by your internet service provider. So before getting into the de any detail, let me quickly list out some of the most basic things that you need to look for first. So the first thing you gotta make sure is you gotta make sure your computer is working fine and it's not clogged up with multiple programs running in the background that might be eating up your internet. Um, a quick way to check that is by opening the task manager. Uh, you can simply press Ctrl Alt Delete and select the task manager from the window or you can just right click on the taskbar at the bottom of your screen and click on open task manager. Um, depending on the version or the type of operating system you are using you should be able to check the amount of network consumption by each program. So if there are any unknown programs using the network in them and try to uninstall and try to uninstall those unneeded softwares. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure your computer has enough amount of available RAM and hard disk space for the browsers and downloaders to work properly. Another thing you should make sure is if you are connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or wireless connection or if you are physically connected to the router that's connected to the internet. That means a cable is running from your computer to the router. So if your computer is connected to the router or the internet wirelessly or via the Wi-Fi, try getting closer to the, where the router is located in your house or office and see if it improves your internet connection. So um, if it does, try relocating the router or um, try moving a workspace closer to the router if the router is not if it's not possible to move the router. So if you're connected to the router via cable, look for any faults on the wire by going through all the connections and the cable till it's connected to the back port of the router. You should keep in mind that the distance of the router and the system does affect the internet speed since that I had to travel a longer distance to get to a PC. And um, the quality of internet that's getting on a computer also varies with the quality of the cable you're using. So after you've done all these basic things, um, I'll show you some of the more advanced ways you can enhance your internet speed with. So let's get started. So another way that you can uh, enhance your internet speed is by using a program called DNS Bench. And what this actually does is it searches for the closest DNS servers that are located uh, from your internet connection provider. And the closer the DNS server is, the faster the information will be provided to you and which in which eventually means faster internet connection. So um, you gotta download DNS Pens, which is free. I'll leave the download links in the description below. And let's go ahead and open DNS Bench and click on name servers tab. And when the list is loaded, you can see an option that says run benchmark. Click on that. And let it do the benchmark. And after everything is done, you should see a screen something similar or completely different from what I'm seeing at the moment. So the one at the top are the closest and the most fastest DNS servers around your location or around your internet service providers so the one at the top are the ones you should be actually using if you want to get much better internet connection or fast internet speed 
So after you've finished your DNS benchmark, just note down the top two um, DNS servers. And after that, uh, we'll change our DNS servers, our default DNS servers from our internet connection. So to change that, uh, go to your bottom right corner and open your internet connection settings by right clicking on your connection icon and click on open network and sharing center. From that, let's go to change your adapter settings and you should locate or you should know which one is connected to the internet. So I'm connected via my wireless connection or my Wi-Fi adapter. So that's my Qualcomm. If I was connected to uh, the router from an Ethernet cable, that would be my Realtek PCI GVE family controller. So I'm using Qualcomm, so I'll right click on that and click in properties. So depending on what kind of connection you're using, this will be different for you. And after you've opened your properties, find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4 and select that and click on properties. And as you can see, um, everything is automatic. What we'll do here is you should not change your IP address. We don't, we're not going to change our IP address. All we're going to do is you're going to change your DNS server addresses. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, select the option that says use the following DNS server addresses and open up DNS bench and key in the DNS servers that you've just found out. So the first address is 8.8.8.8. So I'm going to key in 8.8.8. So the second address is 208.67.220.222. So the first preferred DNS server is 8.8.8.8.8 because this is the first one and this is the most fastest responding DNS server for my internet connection. So bear in mind, this is different. So this is going to be different for each and every one of you. And just make sure you finish the benchmark test first. Or if you want to make sure, just run the ben benchmark test a uh, couple of times and make sure you're going to use the right one. So the first one is 8.8.8.8 and the second one is this one. So after that, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close it. So just to make sure that the um, DNS address takes, is, takes effect, I'm just going to disable the Wi-Fi connection or the Wi-Fi adapter. I'm going to enable that again. So that's um, what that actually does is it just resets the adapter so that I can start fresh with a new DNS server address. So I'm going to connect to my internet again. And now the, D uh, now the browsing will uh, definitely be a bit more faster and smoother. So that's pretty much uh, about uh, speeding up your internet connection as you there's, there's lots of videos on YouTube that shows you how to triple or double your internet connection but that don't really work because you're not gonna be able to get more bandwidth than the bandwidth that has been provided to you by your internet service provider so what you can do is you can enhance your system and your connection to ISP which allows you to mm, which allows you to use the most bandwidth that has been provided you by the service provider so i hope this helped uh, let me in the comments if you need any help with anything and keep subscribing give this video a like if this helped you and subscribe for more videos thank you